The CQ has a built-in class-compliant USB audio interface and can be connected to a Windows or Mac computer as well as many tablets or phones for recording and streaming audio. The interface has two modes, multi-track to record each channel individually to a DAW or stereo for simple recording or streaming. For multi-track recording, go to the config screen and in the USB SD Bluetooth tab, select USB SD. At the bottom left of the screen, select the source point. This is where the individual signals will be recorded from each input channel. For example, if you select post preamp, then you'll be recording a completely unprocessed signal. But if you select post EQ, the recording will also include high pass filter, gate, any inserted effects and the EQ too. The source points are listed in order, so to record a channel with all its processing, select post AMM. Now switch the mode to multi-track and select a sample rate. 96 kHz is higher quality and creates larger files when recording. 48 kHz is lower quality but therefore creates smaller files. For best results, ensure that you are using the same sample rate in your DAW and the CQ. On the right of the screen, select the stereo signals you want to send to the last three or four pairs of USB channels. By default, these include stereo inputs and the main LR output. Next, if using Windows, install the driver, which is available to download from allen-heath.com. This allows the Windows system and any applications to see the CQ as a system audio device, but also for professional audio applications to access the CQ via ASIO. If you're using a Mac or a device that supports class compliant audio, no driver is required. Now connect the CQ to your device using a USB cable and it will show up as an available multi-track input and output option in your DAW. The order of channels matches the CQ, so input channels come first, followed by the channel assignments you made. Finally, you just need to route the individual channels to separate tracks in your DAW and hit record.